No one's going to take questions from that. So. <laughs> we got a Matt Lairs, so it's, yeah. Uh, Matt or Pat or whichever you're going by today. Um, on the pass play down in the right end zone, it, it looked like you were looking up for the ball and it went right through your arms. Were you even able to see it in the sun or what happened there? Yeah, I lost it in the sun for a good amount of time and I didn't see it until uh, maybe like the last second. I, I don't I don't remember seeing it, so I just put my hands up and it was a drop nonetheless, so. Can you uh, give us an idea of, of what the atmosphere was in the locker room after this game? You, you guys were right there with the USC team um, and then and then lost it there a little bit in the fourth quarter. Yeah, the the I think the mindset was just, you know, we need to get better. Um, we need to go into this week. Not, not any different, but just, you know, in, in the past weeks, win or loss, we've kind of just been, you know, you can celebrate. You can you can be mad at yourself for whatever reason, but you know you gotta you gotta wake up the next day and, and do the same thing the next week. So I think, you know, the idea in the locker room was you know we're we're right there, we're we're a couple of plays away, but we got to get better this week. It seems like you guys have a lot of confidence and belief and high expectations. I, I mean, I think everyone is disappointed with the loss, and there's really no moral victories. Can you just t talk about your team's expectations for yourself and? Uh, how you can improve moving forward. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't know if, if there's any good team that doesn't have high expectations for themselves. I, I would never go into a season, I would never go into a game or practice, you know, thinking I hope, you know, we lose by only 20 or something like that. So, um, yeah, we, we, we're confident in ourselves. Uh, we don't really care whether people think we're going to win or lose. We just, we go into to each game expecting to win. Um, that was a tough game for your for your QB. What what was he like uh, in the huddle late in the game when you guys were still trying to fight back? Did you see any frustration in him? No, I, I mean, everyone on our offense, I've, I feel like, has been consistent emotionally throughout our first uh, first four games. Um, and, and that includes Ross. He, he's always mentally locked in, and um, I'm, I still haven't seen him flinch.